What's up, good people? Here I am back once again, Lou the Rider Sports. This is my pick for the NFC West Division Champs. Well, the 49ers, are they finally back? Can Jimmy G stay healthy the whole season? He didn't look great in the preseason, but when you come back from an injury, of course you're going to look bad. Just as I'm corking Wentz last year. Now, can the 49ers get back to the Super Bowl, get back to the playoffs once again? Because the last time they was in the playoffs was when Colin Kaepernick was, was on fire his second year as starting quarterback. And after that, you know what happened. Jim Harbaugh got fired. Colin Kaepernick. Say he wanted to be released, so they gave him that, and the in the league blackballed him. So hopefully the 49ers can get out the um, drones and make some noise this year. The Seattle Seahawks made a big move to get the Javion, them Javion and County. Does that make them a Super Bowl pick now? Is that going to make this team? What what everybody used to be when the Legion of Boom was dominating the lead at the time. So I just hold up, hold up for a minute. I got a step chart, yep, chart, yep, chart. See when you you do all this research, keep them getting names. Can Russell Wilson lead the team to the promised land once again? He got that new deal a couple years ago. And is he ready to be one of the top five quarterbacks once again? So, the Rams, San Fran, got something to say about that. And you had the Los Angeles Rams, who went to the Super Bowl last year. And now, they they are back once again to... Try, try to get back to the Super Bowl. You got Ty Gurley, who suffers an upright knee injury now. And you got Jared Goff, who got a brand new spanking deal, paying him $110 million, 30, 34 guarantee. So, and with him getting a new deal, that press thought. Who played for the Dallas Cowboys for more money than Jared Goff now? Because Prescott feels he's the best quarterback in the league, which he, to me, is not. So, hey, let's not talk about the Cowboys right now. Then you got the Saint, the Arizona Cardinals. Now you got a rookie starting quarterback who's five eight, and. And nobody, and nobody don't feel like he can lead this team to playoffs. Because you, you're breaking in new head coach in Kingsbury. And and you and, and David Johnson is probably not the same running back he used to be. Because he suffered too many injuries. I think this may be Larry Fitzgerald last year for the, for the Arizona Cardinals. It's last year in the NFL. He, he's still... A future Hall of Famer, still one of the great, greatest wide receivers of his time. So, who wins this, the NFC West? My opinion, I think the um, St. Lu- or the Los Angeles Rams win the NFC West once again. The 49ers do, still do not have enough to overtake them. The Seattle Seahawks, great running game. But they pass the game, I don't know what you're going to do. Because the team drop out, probably going to go eight in the box and try to stop the Seattle running game. And can Clown, I don't I don't see Jamie Clowney making a dip, difference on that defense. And the Arizona Cardinals. Can Kyler Murray, I don't see Kyler Murray having a great rookie season. I see him probably about at least the fourth or fifth game getting replaced by... 
Brett Hudley because he's a bigger quarterback, and I think Kyle Murray will probably have a tough time trying to see over the offense, offensive line. So, in order, I got the Rams um, winning that division and going to the playoffs. I got Seattle finishing second, and Burley and not making the playoffs. They're going to miss it by that close. And I got the Port Niners coming in third. And, hey, they're going to make improvements. And hopefully coming in third won't be bad for them. And I got the Arizona Cardinals fence in last. Because I don't think they're going to have enough wins to move up in this division. So that's all I got to say on that. If, if you like, i give you my other prediction tomorrow before... The first game of season kick out about the AFC teams. Alright, peace.